Good morning, Bath County High School. This is Miss Manier, and this semester I'm teaching theater. We are planning to do a production the last week of March. If you would like to sing and dance with us, please come by and see me in room 102 whenever you have a chance. There will be a few after school practices, but other than that, it will be very simple. Thanks, and let me know in room 102. Good morning, BCHS. Today is Wednesday, March 8th, and this is BCTV. The BCHS Honor Sports Student of the Week is Victoria Otis. Victoria is a freshman at BCHS. She has been nominated by Ms. Fugit for her hard work in honors geometry. Ms. Fugit says that Victoria is currently the top student in honors geometry. She describes Victoria as a pleasant, mature, and responsible. Ms. Fugit has also said that Victoria has a positive attitude and a commitment to doing her best. Victoria says that she is honored to have been chosen by Ms. Fugit. She says that she really enjoys geometry and they learn something new every day. Victoria also says that Ms. Fugit explains everything thoroughly so that the students can understand what they are learning. Congratulations, Victoria. COSA testing continues today and Thursday, March 9th. Teachers, Ms. Crockett sent you a list of those students who will be testing each day this week, which also includes each student's testing location. Please check this list to ensure each student is at the appropriate location for COSA testing. Please remember that Kentucky Occupational Skills Standards Assessment, COSA, has been identified as a component of the Kentucky Unbridled Learning Accountability System as a measure of career readiness for senior preparatory career and technical education students. It is very important that all students who are taking the COSA do their absolute best. Good luck to all of our CTE students who are taking the test this week. The freshmen and sophomores are now selling snacking in the USA Snacks. If you are looking for a great tasting snack, then here is your choice for you. With Snacking in the USA, you get 31 delicious choices, which include chocolate covered almonds, honey roasted peanuts, chocolate covered pretzels, gummy bears, and caramel creams, just to name a few. All these great snacks and a cost of only $8. Remember, the class that sells the most will earn an extra 10 minute morning break. So buy some Snacking in the USA today and help support the freshman and sophomore classes. Juniors and seniors, there are only two days left to purchase prom tickets. Thursday, March 9th will be the last day to purchase prom tickets. Tickets can be purchased in Ms. Workman's room during break for $35 each. Juniors and seniors that want to take a student from other school or that want to take a student that has already graduated to prom must have a dance date request form completed for these people. You can get these forms outside of Ms. Brandenburg's classroom. Dance date request forms must be returned by March 31st. TSA members, you will be meeting after school today. There will be no after school TSA meeting on Thursday, though. Attention FBLA members, be sure to pick up your permission form packet for the Region 5 conference. All forms and payment of $30 is due by March 13th. On Wednesday, March 30th, the seniors will be called to the cafeteria during study zone for breakfast and to announce the win winners of their senior superlatives. Also, seniors, be sure to submit your senior photo for the yearbook and senior ads to Ms. Robinson by April 15th. Moorhead State University personally invites you to experience an academic showcase day. Students will spend two hours with their respective academic departments and interact with current students, faculty and staff, tour facilities, and tour campus. March 10th will be the academic showcase day for communications. The biology and chemistry showcase day is March 31st, and students interested in nursing can attend the showcase day on April 12th. To register, go to moreheadstateedu slash visit and select the academic showcase day of your choice. Seniors, the 2017 Clark Energy Scholarship is now available. To be eligible, your parents or guardians must have an active account with Clark Energy. This is a $1,000 scholarship and the deadline to apply is May 5th. Also, if you would like to apply for the Bath County Education Association Scholarship, please pick up an application from the guidance office. It's due by April 21st to Ms. Robinson or to the guidance office. Well, that's all we got for today, but remember, friends give us the courage to lift the blinds on our hearts, to open up and show what we generally keep hidden from the rest of the world. Have a great day, BCHS, and we'll see you right back, right back here tomorrow morning.